Did Samsung save the best for last? The Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra is finally here. Once again, this is Julian with Julian Tech Reviews, and we're here to talk about and discuss my first impression and unboxing of the Samsung Tab S10 Ultra. But before we get into that, if you can please like, subscribe to this channel, we greatly appreciate it. Here at Julian Tech Reviews, we provide unbiased reviews of all the latest technology, including cell phones, tablets, what have you. And we purchase these out of our own pocket. So almost like a one man mission. And with that being said, feel free to hit that donate button below. And this will enable us to provide more and more detailed reviews of the latest products that you would like to see. And if you have any products that you wanna see uh, in review and analyze, comment below. Otherwise, we're gonna get into the video. Samsung decided to unveil their Samsung Tab S10 Ultra and release it on September 26th of this year, 2024, at a price starting out at $1,199 up to $1,619 for the top of the line, top spec uh, tablet. Now they did come out with two tablets in the S series. There is the Pro and then there's the Ultra. But for me, I don't go for the Pros, I go for the Ultra. And it came in two colors. So it came in moon gray, which is more of the darker color and the platinum silver. But with me, I like mostly light colored, I like colored and non-black designs because I love the color scheme. So I decided to give me a platinum silver. And with that being said, also let's talk about what do we have here? So the current landscape and the current challenges that exists with tablets is, do I need this? Well, Samsung and Apple and other companies seem to think so, and they're forcing it down our throats. And sometimes I think this is just a bigger cell phone or a bigger tablet, I mean, bigger, you know, phablet is what you call it. And another question that, you know, comes up a lot, will this replace my laptop? Now they do provide accessories like the keyboard, and you know battery is huge and all the things sound like a laptop but i'm seeing tablet so will this replace my laptop and that is be kind of up to you to kind of figure that out but later on in my reviews i will let you know if it's a viable option for you and then another question that comes up with the tablets is the cost barrier now as I mentioned before, the top of the line, which I have here, which is the 16 gigabyte RAM and the one terabyte, it costs, it, start, it starts at $1,619. So you're spending about $1,700 on a tablet. Now, some would say you can spend that amount and buy another laptop, a useful laptop with, you know, just as much specs or even better. Uh, but there's something that Samsung saw in the market that really stands out and made them want to pull this out and sell it to us and bring it to us in September of 2024. And we have it here. So let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we're actually spending our $1,700 on. Now, as you can see, it comes in the traditional white box. And if you bought a and purchased a tablet before from Samsung, you're going to get the traditional white. It's kind of a play on the Apple's presentation but Samsung kind of does a minimalistic approach and I do appreciate that. And let's just go ahead and see what else we got in here. So on the box, you got the Galaxy Tab S10 Ultra wording. You got the Tab, Galaxy Tab right there just so you know what it is. And pretty much that's it. So let's go ahead and open the box. All right, so just like with most laptops, they have this kind of sheet fabric here to kind of protect the glass. And here's the tablet in the unit. There it is. All right, got the Samsung wording. So this is the platinum silver and it has the, this is a strip that where you can put your stylus and it will Bluetooth charge 
right here. So it kind of uses that reverse technology that Samsung has on all their phones. Here are the camera cutouts right here with the flash. And let's just look at the front. So we have our side buttons here. So we have our power button and we have our volume rocker right here. All right, and then here's the, the speakers here. There's two speakers here and there's two speakers, one right here, one right here. We got the USB charging, USB-C charging port. And then below here, you have kind of a magnetic uh, adapter. So if you do get the keyboard, this will magnetically and Bluetooth, I believe, connect with a keyboard so you can type like a laptop. And then you have your front cameras here. And voila, that's the full tablet right there. Let's see what else they have in the box. So as you saw on the front of the box, they do come with a stylus and this is Bluetooth and it is white. And what else do we have here? We have USB-C charger and this cable is pretty long. I want to say it's about six feet. Doesn't say here, but I thought that's pretty interesting. They include that. No charging brick, which would have been nice, but Samsung is playing into the thinness of this particular tablet. What else do we have here? All right, so we have our SIM ejector tool. So this is a model where you can put, uh, you have it LTE and, and take calls and all that above. So that's there if you want to set up with your cell phone service and then just nothing but books. So pretty minimalistic uh, unboxing. And I'm going to confess, I did already open it up and set up everything just to save some time. And let's go ahead and get into the tablet. So as you can see, there's the Bluetooth, the magnetic pull. So right now it's wirelessly charging and it recommends that you keep it on there while you're not in use. So pretty cool. All right, so I, I showed you all the design and the accessories. Let's talk about the build quality on this. So upon my first impressions, it is very light, like very light. So this is just, I mean, I want to treat it like a phone, but it isn't because it's just a giant laptop and it just feels very, very light and cold to the touch. This aluminum is very, very premium feeling. And I don't think like you'll find any issues with, you know, just the build quality of this. Now, design wise, they do have the camera in the middle. So it does act like a laptop where you can kind of take calls and, you know, whatnot. There are some tablets out there that do have the cameras and the cut holes there, but it just makes it a weird orientation whenever you're trying to move it around. But I do like this. I mean, this is a 14 point six inch display and it has the latest Android 14. It has all of the, well, it has this circle to search function. So it does have the Samsung Galaxy AI. Let's go ahead and check to see if they have the menu. There it is. So you have the full suite of the Galaxy AI. Now, one thing to note, this does not have the Samsung or it doesn't have the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 chip. It has a new chip. And this is called the Dimensity 9300 chip. It is not the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 like in the previous models in all of the Samsung phones. And the reason that Samsung states that they switched to this different um, uh, chip is because it excels in multi-core tasks so it offers a slight edge of the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3. So just be cognizant of that. It won't have the same performance as the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3, but it is, you know, totally fine. That's what they said. So you're not getting anything outstanding, but then you're not getting anything below. 
in their opinion. All right, so as I mentioned before, this is a very lightweight tablet. I mean, I'm holding it with the tips of my fingers right now, and it's very light. It is not heavy at all, and it is shockingly thin. Well, let me look how thin this is. This is almost the, the thinness of a cell phone, and it almost feels like it's not durable, but I'm putting pressure on it, and I'm not getting, I'm getting a lot of tension. And of course, they're going to put, you know, Gorilla Glass, Victus 2, whatever that's on here. And, you know, you're not going to have any problem. This is very, you know, stable. It has a fingerprint reader on the side right here, as you saw. It has the face unlock up there, the volume rockers. And let's talk about this brightness. So the brightness, I mean, I mean, judge for yourself, it is bright. Like I have all of my apps here. It was easily, you know, transferable from your tablet. I mean, from your phone to the tablet. So once you're in the ecosystem of Samsung, you got everything given to you here. Samsung Pass works perfectly so I can get all of my passwords in here. And let's talk about the multitasking. The multitasking in here is phenomenal. So as you can see, I have all of my recent tabs here. So. I can just, you know, drag this one to the side and let's go ahead and add, you know, Chrome here. So I add Chrome and then of course you have your side menu wherever it's at. Uh oh. So as you can see, I'll use my three fingers to pull that up. Okay. I think it's down here where you can hold it. All right, so right now I'm in a horizontal orientation. So this is pretty neat when you're trying to, you know, run some plays or do some notes. And you have your stylus here. And go ahead and write in that. Oh, it gives you a prompt that you know how to write in text. So as this prompt is over, I can go ahead and write. I just wrote some gibberish here. Let's go, Julian. All right, so that functions in properly. Now, does it have the menu ordeal where you can pull from the side, the side panel? Don't see it. All right, so let's check the menu. So let's go ahead and flip this to make it vertical. Okay, so this is what you can do when you have it. Oh, there it is. So at the bottom, you can just pull it up from the side right here. And I believe if you hold it, you can lock it. Otherwise, you can pull, let's say, YouTube. So now I have three screens here. And they're easily, move, uh, you know, resizable. So I can move it that way or I can move it this way. So multitasking on this is very, very nice. So definitely if you, other, and if anything else, you want to get this uh, to just do this nice multitasking within your hand. Now, typing wise, you know, either you use the stylus and let's put the stylus up for now. And it pulls up this giant keyboard so you can do it flat and you can, and it has a nice little haptic so you can feel the typing. Or you can get, you know, the laptop, you know, folded case to go with it. That's really neat. So I'll show you one that I have uh, with my other previous tablet that works with this. So it's very transferable from the last generation to this one. And the last thing I want to show you is really, really neat feature, which is Samsung DeX. So Samsung DeX turns this tablet format into a true laptop format. So first thing we're going to do is go to our settings and then we're going to look for DEX and DEX is up here in the control panel. So once you hit that, you're in DEX mode. So in traditional format, you would you now seeing these. There's like a gray kind of line right on top of them now. So if, for instance, I pull up Chrome. So Chrome comes up like a window on a laptop. 
with that being said, I can resize it. I can go full screen. I can go floating icon. I can resize it like this. And this is more of your traditional laptop format using Samsung Dex. And for instance, I want to go into Microsoft Word like or this is the Google version of Microsoft Word. Let's create a new document. So now I can put these side by side here. Even though it is similar to the multitasking on the tablet, I can resize these to make it look more like a Windows based computer and just have as many of these floating icons I want. So I can add there. I can add, I can just keep adding. And I, I, as you can see, this is just like a laptop. And this is one of the best features you can use Samsung Dex uh, with, with your uh, tablet. And I think this is the truest form of Samsung Dex other than using your phone tablet to port it directly to another monitor. You have the monitor here. And one more thing I want to talk about when it comes to features, this tablet works, can work in tandem with your Samsung laptop. I have a Samsung Galaxy 3 Book 3 Ultra, and I can use this as an external monitor to go in tandem with my laptop. So another neat feature to go with this. So this is, could be a really big game changer for you if you're interested in buying a tablet. Now, it doesn't really matter. I haven't seen a significant difference in the 16 gigabyte RAM version versus the 12 gigabyte RAM. So maybe the $1,200 entry price can be the one that's for you. But, you know, for my testing purposes, I wanted to get, you know, the 16 gig to see if there was a huge difference. And so far, it has not been a huge difference. So let's go ahead and let's talk about what I just experienced. So this unboxing experience was very minimal. I had pretty much like nothing to unbox but except the tablet. But oh, what a tablet it is. I mean, I have Samsung Dex. I have this giant 14.6 inch screen. It is amazing. The color is nice. I would like to see another color of Samsung other than, you know, platinum silver or gray or in black. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. So it is very, I'm going to have to really, really test this out a lot more just to get a full grasp of what I'm experiencing right now. Cause right now it's blowing my mind just looking how neat and how light and thin this particular tablet is. And I just really encourage you to comment below on your, you know, what do you think about what I just, what you just experienced on this Tab S10 Ultra? Right. And is this something that you are interested in buying? Do you have a tablet that you like better than Samsung or are you an Apple fanboy? Whatever. It's pretty much up to you. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe in the link below in the links below. And feel free to click that donate button once again uh, to send a donation um, if you really appreciated this video. I also invite you to look at my other videos on this channel and experience the world of Julian Tech Reviews. And as we say at the end of each video, Julian Tech Time is over.